learning by doing or through experiences is an important and effective way of learning mathematics. How can a teacher create the learning experiences in the classroom? What kind of material is needed? Responses to all such questions and to provide experiential learning. In Mathematics Learning Kit, a very interesting learning material is included. Solid shapes. Can you recognize these? Different types of solids are included. These are cubes, cuboids, cones, cylinders and spheres. Also we have small cylinders, we can also call it a circular disc. These shapes are made up of plastic. Can you observe closely to find out with which material they are covered All these are covered with Velcro. We also see this in our shoes, clothes or toys. With the help of this, these shapes can be stuck like this. Can you observe and tell me what I have created? We can form many different objects which are look alike of real life objects. By using these solid shapes, many important mathematical concepts can be learned such as classification, sorting of 3D objects on the basis of number of surfaces, edges, corners and rolling sliding of solid shapes. Relationship between 3D objects and 2D shapes can also be learned. So, what do you think how these solid shapes help children in learning? Main objective is to provide hands-on experiences of all solid shapes so that children get opportunities to see, feel, touch the various attributes of different solid shapes like corners, faces, edges. In classes, generally children are directly exposed to two-dimensional shapes like circle, triangle, square, rectangle, etc. which they don't experience or don't relate in their life. What they directly see and experience are the real life objects like a square cake box, pencil box of rectangular shapes, ball, bangles, etc. which are three dimensional objects. We must provide experiences of 3D objects which are available in their surroundings and then should move towards 2D shapes. It becomes easier for the child to relate one view of 3D surface of the real life object to the two dimensional shapes. So that's why here the role of solid shapes becomes very important to provide opportunities to the children to see relationship and differences between 3D objects and 2D shapes. So, your level of curiosity must have increased to know how this really facilitates children's learning. So, let's see through an activity how we can use solid shapes in the classroom with children. During their exploration and play, children construct objects which they have observed or experienced. If asked to describe, the children would provide all the details. As the children explore and make objects using solid shapes, they intuitively learn about different attributes of different solids.
such sharing develops the feeling of acceptance and enhances the confidence among children. While children are describing what they have made, teacher can ask them questions to focus their attention on different solid shapes being used for constructing the object. Encourage children to speak on what they have made, how they have made. Encourage children to speak out and share. Encourage them to give logic and reason unhesitatingly. Can you see all these shapes placed on the table? Can you see this shape? Friends, can you observe what will happen if I push this shape with my finger? Let's see. I will push this shape now. It's sliding. If I place it from different surface and again I will push it. Again it's sliding. Let's see with a different shape. Let's see what will happen with this shape if I push this with my finger. It's rolling. If I push this this way Let's see what happens. So now I understood if a solid shape is pushed from a plane surface like in these solids from the plane surface or a plane circular surface the solid shape slides. On the other hand in this solid while pushing from this surface it is rolling. Yes, you are absolutely right. It is rolling because it has a curved surface. See? If that is so, you must be looking at this shape, which is like a joker's cap. And you must be thinking what will happen, how it will move if I will push. So, let's see. It's rolling, but differently. Now, if I keep this shape like this on a plane surface and push this, now it is sliding. So, friends, we saw that curved surfaces rolls and plane surface slides on pushing. Rolling and sliding will help them learn how different surfaces can be identified by movement of the solids. Activity on rolling and sliding helps children to understand the difference between a plane surface and a curved surface. In the classroom activity with children, we saw that how teacher involved children in sorting the shapes into groups and we saw that how children sorted or divided shapes into groups with their own reasoning or logics. Through this, we saw that children do observe different attributes of solid shapes. They may not say or use words like surface, curve edges, corner, cube, cuboid, etc. 
but they internalize some understanding about the shapes. Instead, they used words like box, roti and joker's cap for cube, circular disc and cone respectively. And that is enough at the early stage. And the important thing is that they must relate their classroom learning with daily life. Thank you.